Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a journal with me and as you can see, I'm in my new journal. If you want to know more information about it, I did share the details in a flip through video. So I'll link that below in the description box for you. So I'm just choosing a page to work on. There are so many beautiful ones to pick from, but I end up choosing a black and white page with some avocado dyed paper. I'm going to be documenting a trip to Pryor Park, which is a national trust here in the UK. And I have the leaflet, which has a map on it, and also some photos, which I've printed in a 3x4 size. I'm going to be adding lots of other bits from my stash to these pages, and also play with some different supplies that I haven't used in a long time. So I'm just having a look at all the photos and I know that I'm going to need some sort of pocket to hold a couple of them. I don't want all of them just stuck down on the page. But first of all I'm starting with the leaflet as it's the biggest piece of ephemera that I have and I want to make sure I have room for it. This avocado dye paper has a fold out but if I stick the leaflet on top of it, it takes up the whole page so I decide to make the fold out a bit smaller by refolding it and I'm going to be attaching the leaflet by adding some double sided tape down onto the fold out piece. And to make sure that's really secure, I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape. This tape is by the brand MT and I do end up adding it a little bit wonky, but that's okay. This box holds all of my scraps and I'm just going through it to see if there's something I can use in there for a pocket. So there's scraps of paper, there's ledger paper, I think there's some journal cards as well, there's wrapping paper, brown paper bags, lots of random bits and pieces and I really love going through here and seeing what I can find. This was also the box that I went through to find some scraps for some of the tuck spots and pockets in this journal. I'm just having a play with all the bits and pieces that I pulled out and seeing which scrap of paper is going to look the best for a pocket on this page. And there were two pieces of paper that I was really torn between, this dark blue piece here and also the piece that I end up using which is a brown piece of paper. And I'm just playing around with some of the other bits and pieces and seeing how the page might start to look. So this was the other bit of paper I was deciding on and this is the one that I end up choosing. This is a piece of Kaisercraft scrapbook paper. I think it was sent to me in some mail. And it's a little bit too big so I'm using my ruler to trim it down to size. As I'm going to be making it into a pocket, I'm using double sided tape on three of the sides. And I really like this piece of paper, it has a vintage vibe to it. I did trim the photos and journal card down a little bit off camera just to make them fit on the page a little bit better. And I do use double sided tape on all of my photos in today's journaling session. So this here is a picture of me and my husband and I'm just going to stick this at the top of the black and white page. I didn't want to cover up too much of it because I thought it was really pretty and it fitted really well with what I was documenting today because Prior Park is a landscaped garden and on this black and white page there's a pond and some trees and a little building in the background. Mm -hmm. 
So you saw me here just play around with a few journal cards and this one was in my stash but there was this random sticker to the back of it and I chose to remove it because it was just going to add unnecessary bulk to my journal. I've pulled out this envelope which is full of postage stamps. These stamps were kindly sent to me by Katie Moody and I haven't used any of them yet but I've had them for a long while and it's a supply that I haven't used for a very long time. I have used a postage stamp I know on one of my spreads in the past but it was a long time ago and I really need to use these more because I absolutely love them. So I've picked out some stamps I thought might work well with this page and I end up choosing a couple of stamps that are blue and green in colour. So there's a New Zealand stamp which has a flower on it and a Hungary stamp which has a fish on it. And I just really liked how they look and it just adds a little bit of detail to that page and gives it more of a vintage look. This ticket piece I'm just playing around with, I'm thinking of adding it as a tab to this page. So I decided to go and stick both of these stamps down and I'm just using my glue stick to do that. And in the end I just decided to stick this ticket piece down and I used my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to do that and I really like how that looks. I wanted to make sure that I would have somewhere to add some writing a little bit later, so I find this journal card, which is by Crate Paper, and stick it on the back of the leaflet. I've pulled my postage stamps back out because I want to find one to use as a tab on the leaflet. And I choose this one, which I'm not fond of, and I'm going to be turning it inside out and use it differently from how you would usually use a postage stamp. But in the end I decide that it's a little bit too small, so I've pulled out another box. This one has some vintage supplies in it. And inside I have an envelope that's filled with some fabric scraps, and these fabric scraps were from Gabriella, and I've bought quite a few of her journals now, and I thought these would be really fun to add as tabs on the leaflet. So I'm just going through them and seeing which ones might work well on this page. I'm just going to tidy up the edges on this fabric a little bit and then you'll see me add a little bit of glue on top of the leaflet and that's just to hold the fabric in place because I'm going to staple it to the leaflet and again I'm just using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to do that. And I do the exact same with this blue piece of fabric. And I absolutely love how that looks and how it all pulls out. And that little postage stamp that I folded over earlier, I'm actually going to be adding to this black and white page. I didn't want it to go to waste seeing as I'd already folded it in half. And seeing as I've never had tabs in my journal before, I'm absolutely loving this. But as you can see, I need to add some more staples because I ran out. And now I want to find something that will cover over that green space on the leaflet. I didn't really like how it looked so I wanted to cover it up and I find this tag that says love this life and I end up pulling my crocodile out and punching a hole in it. Mm -hmm. 
and now I'm going to add my journal in. I usually do this off camera, but today I decided that I would try and do it on camera for you to see. I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape to the top of my photos and it just adds a little bit more interest and detail to the photo and this one is a light beige brownie coloured one and it's by the brand MT. Time to add some final details and decoration so I'm going in with some stickers I'm adding another piece of washi tape to this photo so that I can add one of these word stickers because it's on a clear backing and it's a black and white page I didn't think it would stand out so I added a bit of washi tape behind it I'm adding the date of 12th of June 2022 to this page and to do that I'm actually going to use my stamps so I've circled the number 12 and I've pulled out my alphabet stamps I got these from eBay and I believe I haven't used stamps in my junk journal before so this was really fun to do so I'm going to be using the stamps to spell out 2022 and I have a piece of paper off to the side here where I'm just wiping off the excess ink now it's time to add all the finishing touches so I have these vintage butterfly stickers which were from the sticky club and I'm just going to add a couple onto this black and white page just for a little more decoration I've pulled out my postage stamps again because I want to cover up that green space on the back of the leaflet. I just really didn't like how it looked. And then I'm just choosing some stickers to go on top of the postage stamp because I have a lot of stickers so it's always nice to use some of them up. So these stickers are from Quake Paper or Maggie Holmes and I'm just adding another one of those butterfly stickers at the bottom of this pocket. And then the last thing I do in this journal in session is add some writing to this leaflet. And these are the finished pages. I had so much fun creating these pages and I absolutely love how they turned out. There's some interaction and different supplies that I've not played with in a long time. I got to work on some different types of paper like avocado dyed paper. If you watched my flip through you know I was excited to try it out. Here's a closer look at some of the smaller details. I think I'm going to really enjoy using this journal. I love the size of it so much already. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.